everyone, I hope you're really well. Happy New Year! If I am good, this is dropping January 1st. And if you're wondering where I am, I am at my parents' house because I am filming this over the Christmas period. Um, so this is me being creative when my parents live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so that is the theme for this video. Um, it's a lot of winter coats, a lot of, I know January is really gloomy, um, a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of cold. <laughs> so I thought I'd do some winter styling when the weather like this to help you like get a gist of what I'd wear in this situation I'm just <laughs> I'm laughing because you got on a pan and some baked beans and some peas because I don't have a tripod here <laughs> I'll show you at the end so this is all the clothes that I picked out so let's pick up this one so this look was really inspired by Alberto Ferretti one of my favorite designers this season they really did a good job I'm obsessed with all their styling. I'll put a few pictures here so you get the idea. This is so similar to one of their tops that I think if I was Alberto, I would be very annoyed with River Island because <laughs> it is so, so similar. So I just styled it with a pair of pink baggy trousers. Baggy trousers are a big trend that's gonna be happening this year. Baggy trousers with boots. You can already see it popping on Zara, Mango. It's a big thing. I already see it a lot on Instagram at the moment, but it's just gonna go really mainstream. Just you watch. So this gorgeous, gorgeous jumper from River Island. I just loved the colors in it, the gray and the like muted pink and just pairing it with these Diamante earrings. I just had to get a little bit of sparkle in there somewhere because it's Christmas. I like to sparkle. So I've just paired it with a fedora. I literally have not stopped buying fedoras. I have every single shade. I'm not even joking and I'm not gonna stop. I'm starting to really love a beanie as well. So that is gonna come through probably in the next couple of videos. And I just paired it with my favorites, the white boots. I just love playing with colors at the moment and really steering away from like black and dark colors. I'm trying to inject a bit of life into my wardrobe. So this coat actually has a detachable faux fur collar, which I love because you can get several different outfits there. You don't just have to wear the same style all the time. So I paired it here with all black, but I think this really goes beautiful with like a white color as well. So if you had an all white outfit underneath. So here I have a black knit, a high neck knit from River Island. I love tucking my hair into knits and just leaving a few like tussled pieces out at the front. I think this is a really gorgeous look, very sophisticated looking. I've just paired it with a pair of black boots, black jeans, black accessories. But as I said, this would look beautiful if I had like a white fluffy knit on, white trousers, white boots. I think it could go either way. I'd probably advise that this isn't the type of look you climb trees in, but you know, YOLO for the YouTube channel and all that. I hope you enjoyed it and nearly risked my life for you guys. You can obviously wear this cape coat without the belt around the middle. I just like doing this because I think it adds a bit of variety to your outfits. And also, I think the black accessories really tighten the outfit really well. I've just got a pair of Fairfax and Favour boots on. The beautiful tassels and the gold zip at the back just are absolutely stunning. I love these boots. They're really Really, really comfortable as well. I am obsessed with capes. Celine started it and I just kept rolling with it and now I feel like I've got a lot of capes. I think they're really good for layering like you pop a blazer underneath a cape with a belt round and you suddenly get this gorgeous gorgeous look. I'll pop a picture here which is from my Instagram recently so you know exactly what I mean but I just love them for layering. I think this is I love the kind of Balmain style buttons on this as well. The pop of gold really really adds to it and then these pockets on the front really really work it as well. So this look here is a green trench. I actually took the belt off it and popped my own round it which is my gorgeous belt from Zara at the moment. You would have seen it on my Paris video. I am absolutely loving this. If I see a fantastic belt I will pick it up because I think they can just really change an outfit and like if you wore it one day with a belt like the belt that it came with and the next day with another belt round you can get two outfits out of the same coat and going into the new year this is one of my new year's resolutions which i really want to push on my channel is that don't be afraid to like wear the same thing a lot of times. I know a lot of people when I wear the same thing get a bit funny about it and they're like, oh, please wear something else. We're so bored of it. But I really want to make it trendy to wear the same thing multiple times because I think we're going into an age of sustainability and I don't, I think it's so bad if we just wear things once and then throw them away. So if you see a lot of me wearing a lot of things on my channel more than once, it is a good thing. Like you do the same, let's help the environment. 
purchase more wisely and I think it is a sign of such a good purchase if you wear it several, several times. That is what we should look, be looking for when we buy things. So this green coat, oh my gosh, I just love this color. This kind of, these are two of my favorite colors, um, like a dark green and a maroon, like a deep maroon. I think they're very rich, sophisticated looking colors. And if you go, oh, kind of like the color I got on now, but it's coming up a little bit redder than it is in real life. If you look back to like the olden days, you'll find a lot of the royals wore like these deep greens, deep reds, deep navies. So when I think of these colors, that is what like I envision in my head, like a really rich color. So this I paired with my boots of the moment. These boots from Zara, I absolutely love this kind of biker shape, but they're not quite biker boots. I just love how high up the leg they come. I think it's a really flattering boot and so, so comfy. So the first time I wore them was around Paris all day and I walked all day and I did not get one blister and I think that is a sign of because back in the day Zara shoes used to be really uncomfortable and I bought the like ivory pair of boots and these boots recently and they have been like the most comfiest pair of shoes like I've had in a long time so I feel like Zara really changed it when they, they've come to making their shoes um, so this coat is just the perfect walking the dog really every day and I've just paired it with a fedora obviously <laughs> and a belt around the middle as well. So these belts I picked up from ASOS they are the same and I got them in two sizes one's an extra small one's an extra extra small I am never an extra extra small but you, you know with belts you just don't know and I really liked it so I was like I'm gonna order both and send one back so I actually think I'm keeping the extra small this was way too small. Um, so yeah, unless you're like a child, probably don't go for this one. So this belt I just tied around the green coat and what I loved about it was there was not much excess belt, beltage, beltage. So I was able to like, do you know what I mean? Like I hate it when there's a big long flappy bit and you're like, what do I do? That's where I started knotting them because I hated the like, not the, flappy thing and sometimes I tie a bobble round so I got something to to stick it in but this um was really good because it really doesn't move so I liked that and again it's like that kind of it's not black it's not brown it's like that confused brown <laughs> but I thought this was a gorgeous belt to like I'm really into them it's going to be a theme. There's going to be a lot of belts. <laughs> so this coat is a tan coat from River Island. And I just wanted to say that the material is so good. Like it falls. Like it's not what I feel like you have to be really careful when buying off the internet um, on like high street prices. Coats because sometimes they're that creasy material. But this is lovely. Like it really is really thick, really heavy. And that is definitely what I look for in a coat because I really dislike it when they crease all the time because you don't want to be steaming a coat every time you go out. So this has this actually beautiful kind of puff sleeve that really taper in at the wrist. So this color coat is actually really great for pairing with so many different things. You're stuck on what to wear of your outfit, then this color is perfect. I've gone for an all black base again, black fedora, you know the theme by now. Black boots, black jeans, and a black knit underneath. I really love the structure of this coat more than anything. It has a really nice feel to it around the arms, really flattering fit. What I loved about this coat as well was that there was enough room to put layers underneath it um, and it still if you did that it didn't look bulky it still looked really structured it kept the shape and again I switched out the belt which is like a massive theme for me <laughs> I like at the moment I have a thing where I switch out the belts on coats because I just think it looks a lot more fashion I feel like it really ups your game in the fashion department it's a really handy trick you should see my belt cupboard I must have a hundred belts, it's ridiculous. But I just think they can change, it. a really simple way to change up an outfit and that is really key because belts aren't that expensive. So you can really change up an outfit by just changing that little thing. So it actually comes with this belt here. So if you don't, you're not into belts, it comes with that. But um, yeah, I just loved this. If you're looking for a solid tan coat, it's possibly in the sale. Most of these coats might be in the January sales. So I'll link them all down below for you guys. So this black, beautiful, like velvety fur coat really reminded me of a designer. I've seen it, can't think what the name is, but I'll put the picture here of that big, thick coat with a belt round. 
can't think of it. Pop it here. Um, so I picked up, because that's kind of what I envisioned when I picked this up. I paired it with the white because I just loved the... It would be so easy to pair it with black. But just having those white accessories really makes the coat pop, I think. Um, love loving like mixing colors obviously I'm not not gonna play it safe with colors this season and yeah I think if you're looking I always, I was looking for a long time for a beautiful black faux fur coat and I think this is a great one from River Island do some great coats and I actually think a really great tip is putting a belt around a faux fur jacket because it makes your waist look really really tiny like the fur around it really accentuates that waistline which I love I just paired it with a Bottega Veneta pouch bag it's a dupe by the way <laughs> obviously not the real thing but um, the Bottega Veneta is such a huge trend this season it's like the it bag of the moment so I have actually got a shop where I found them in several different colors so I'll link, leave it down below it's called Marbex Boutique super cute boutique in Ireland I've got a matching hat matching boots and yes I would probably not advise you uh, walk through woodland in white ivory boots but um, the great thing about these Zara boots is they are wipe off. I know a lot of you guys DM'd me like how to keep them clean, etc. Really easy. All the white boots that I have are wipe off. I think they do that on purpose. So if they get dirty, you can just easily wash it off with a cloth. See what they did there. Very, very handy. So this type of faux fur, it's almost like velvet. It's like a very short faux fur. And it is so, so soft. And I think this actual kind of faux fur is really lovely for for more of evening wear so if you have and going out outfit and you need to pop on a jacket over the top so this coat here i have been living in and i have seen so many of these jackets like it's kind of a bit boyish as well which i love i think it's an acne dupe i'm pretty sure it is but this has not like left my back like I have worn it constantly over the Christmas period and I think it's the warmest thing I have ever had in my whole entire life and it's like this it's kind of like a dark brown like black so it's not quite black it's definitely not brown I don't know it's a really good color to pair with a lot of things because it's it doesn't quite know what color it is itself if that makes sense so I picked it up in an extra no I picked it up in a small I will link all the items in this video down below along with the sizes because I know that's really helpful for you guys but oh my gosh it's just so warm and snuggly I just paired it here with the cream cable knit cable knit jumpers are the one this is from Marks and Spencers like a few years ago and I really really recommend Marks and Spencers knits for this reason because this looks exactly the same as the day I bought it they wash really really well so I always head to Marks for a good knit and yeah I just paired it with my favorite boots again and that is my dog <laughs> okay so i forgot to tell you about this beautiful coat this is actually from topshop via asos you can get it on either site it is my most favorite color this kind of deep maroon red gorgeous gorgeous color told you green and red are my favorite colors of the season um beautiful top shop coat it's a teddy i think it's called teddy or ball coat i'm not entirely sure but again i popped a belt around the middle because i think it just really accentuates that waist and it's something a bit different you don't see many people doing it and i've got the all black underneath as well but this maroon color would be gorgeous I've, i picture it with like a floaty floral maxi as well that kind of bohemian kind of style would look gorgeous with it i think they did this in a number of different colors as too if i remember rightly on the site so if you do like the style definitely check it out for more color options and the thing i love about this kind of coat this style is that they really really wear like they don't get tatty very easily like they just remain in this condition however long you have them i really really want one in a white kind of reminds me of that max mara teddy coat um on the hunt for one so if i find one i will let you guys know i love the belt because you can kind of adjust the shape of it to suit your figure so guys that is everything i think i hope and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i really Really enjoyed making this my mother filmed it if you're wondering that's why the dogs there we got stuck in a lot of swamps it was like <laughs> but it was good <laughs> I envisioned like withering heights and the moor so I'm hoping it came off a little bit like that and yeah if you aren't subscribed please do pr press that subscribe button it'll be somewhere here it's free and my Instagram is at the Laura Blair plug 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 it's linked in the description box or it's at the Laura Blair come say hey and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!